Well, hello there, city skylines enthusiasts. Welcome back to Riverton. Let's get building. So for today's episode, I wanted to actually come over here to our beautiful trumpet interchange and actually make it even more beautiful. Because, yeah, there's no lane maths going on. There's basically just nothing going on here. And we can spice this up for sure uh who knows i think i'm going to go into this interchange as well and change that up a bit and make it look even nicer so let's go okay first thing we want to do is lane mathematics we need to have uh the correct number of lanes because as it is now so you see this we don't have a dedicated turning lane we have three lanes going into three and one going off of the highway so that's four right so we need to change that we'll use the sound barrier i'd like to have this as a sound barrier we'll switch it up and we'll, we will upgrade or downgrade better say to a two lane because as it is now we have a dedicated turning lane we have three lanes going into three lanes two for going straight and one to get off the highway and we'll do the same on the other side also, I want uh, sound barriers now throughout. So I'll do the same on the other side. There we go. So three lanes splitting off into one off ramp and two lanes going straight on. And the same with the other side. You have two lanes coming in straight and one the on ramp merging into three lanes. Two plus one is three. All right, so that's pretty good. And now comes the beautification part. I always like to have something in these circles, in these trumpet circles, and work with some fencing around the ramps for sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to just have this complete as a time lapse. We'll see what Editor Flybox comes up with. So let's just get building. All right. So first of all, I love using these like radio masts. This one is a this one is too big. It's got these like cables that don't really fit. Yeah, that's not going to fit. That's not going to fit. No, it is. Oh, my God. We could actually have this fit in here. <gasps> is that a bit overkill? Maybe. Do I like it? Oh, yes. All right. Decided to go with the smaller option. That was way too much. That was way overkill. All right. As always, we are going to go with some rocks, trees. That is the best form, in my opinion, of decoration. We need power for that, uh, for that mass there. Okay, let's just come in. Oh, what I also love to do is, go away, no, oh, uh, is this like connect the little walkway? Oh, of course, that's gonna, gonna tear down the, <laughs> oh, well, the, uh, all right, now, so we got the entrance connected. There's the entrance, perfect. All right, now we can... <laughs> so I always like to put this walkway in as sort of... It looks like, you know, uh, it looks like sort of a, a maintenance path. Um, however, well, you'd have to get on the highway and like kind of maintain that. Anyway, it looks cool. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's add some more of these bad boys in here. Perfect. So more foliage and definitely some of the tall grass in here because it's it would be probably a bit overgrown i think i think that looks super super cool i love these tall grass clusters uh mr mason once again if you're watching this uh the tree pack here is just a delight that's actually perfect cool very very nice young lindens in here as well Okay, Mary. Oh, we do need power though. How much? Ugh. All right. Here's a tip: if you ever have uh, this scenario where you don't want to bring in like power lines because maybe you can't, or there's like not enough room in here, or it doesn't look good, you can always you can always go into the emergency services. And if you have the Natural Disasters DLC, go to Disaster Services, which is where we found this uh, radio mask, by the way, to put down, and you can go to the earthquake sensor it's a very very tiny tiny little building which you can cover up with trees bushes but it will spread the power 
And look at that. It spread the power. For these like arms here, these these on and off ramps, I love to use the fencing, the uh, zoo fence. And then we'll go to the freeform tool. Well, let's go to the, well, we'll go with straight first. So here and then uh, freeform. Just, okay, no guidelines. I said no guidelines, thank you. Yeah, sometimes the um, snapping and the guidelines, it just doesn't work. So don't be afraid to experiment with that. Turn that off. See if that what you want to do works better when you have that turned off. And uh, oftentimes it works out uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's okay. That's, oh, that looks good. That looks good though, it looks good. Same with this over here. That's okay too, that's okay. We can get away with this vanilla gameplay. We can get away with that, that's fine. All right. So now uh, for these here as well. Very cool. All right, let's uh, decorate this bad boy even more. All right, nice. I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, just a few more touch-ups in here and here. Maybe some more rocks in here. So we'll have like the complete interchange and then just fill her out with some trees, bushes and whatnot. And it seems like we are done with this interchange then. And now look at this beauty. I would consider it done completely. We got all the lane mathematics in place. We've got everything done basically beautification i think it looks super super cool let me know in the comments if you like this interchange this design maybe you even tried it out for yourself who knows all right let's quickly move to this one here as well i want to also do some lane maths of course we're going to go with the uh sound barrier for sure and here what did i why did i like we need uh highway ramps right like the good thing is the highway ramps also give a higher speed that looks much better already let's see if we can beautify this one as well and make it look nicer as well Alrighty, that looks much much better in my opinion super super cool a little bit of trees rocks uh, rock formations i love those rock formations super super cool uh just looks so much better i think it looks so much better and i just realized i deleted a fence part here oopsies okay still super super cool fixed now fence. <laughs> okay perfect i don't know if this is going to stay though or we, if we're going to change this up eventually i'm not really sure so um yeah but oh my god looks so good looks so really really good okay if you want to know why the traffic AI in City Skylines behaves like it does, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.